Hey everyone, it's Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. How are you? I hope everyone is having a fabulous weekend. I hope that the uh, time change didn't mess anybody up. But if you're new, hi, welcome to the channel. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you've been back before, thank you for coming out and hanging out with me again. Have I got a treat for you? We have a sneak peek by Captured by Radiance. Um, I have shown a few kits by this company. It is two sisters. Um, one lives in the United States and one lives in Canada and one turns pens and one handles the diamond painting and I will link um, a previous video before but there are new releases and these releases are going to go live today but before we get into this um, I have so many updates so get a pen and paper or you're gonna have to keep like reading through or watching through this video but there are um, a lot of changes. So the website is now on a new platform and also offers Shopify. Um, easier for us to track our packages and things like that. Um, the website is now up and running and has been updated. It has a new look and it has a lot more features. They offer Apple Pay and Google Pay now. And if you do have a Captured by Radiance account, you will have to make a new one um, you will still receive um, your loyalty points. You just need to set up another account and then email them and let them know so that way they can transfer your loyalty points from your previous account to this new one. Um, not everything has transferred over. Um, there are new items and new products. Um, there will be custom diamond painting pens, styles, blanks. Um, you can get hand turned pens, pick your, the thickness you want, uh, whatever you want. Um, and then the time frame for these pens to be um, turned and sent out to you, the timeline will depend on the amount of orders that there are. They are now offering crystal gemstones, and I actually have some stuff to show you so you know what I'm talking about. Um, they're going to have um, towers and spheres, and prices will be based on the stones and the weights. Um, they'll have fairy wings. They'll have all sorts of cool stuff. I'm just reading through my notes. Um, they're also going to be start. They're also going to start be starting to offer mystery boxes, um, and it's not just all diamond painting related items. So there's going to be um, three tiers. There's going to be an emerald tier, which will include one diamond painting, a sixty by eighty or larger. Um, it's gonna. Um, be between 60 and $80 plus you'll get $50 worth of crystal gemstones plus a box with gems which will be smaller um, and then there will be an inspirational card and I actually have one of these mystery boxes you know kind of to show you um, it will be $150 worth of product for $100 the next tier is a sapphire is the sapphire tier that will include two diamond paintings 60 by 80 or larger um with crystals and gems the value be 200 dollars, selling for 150 and then the largest is the diamond tier you will get one large diamond painting and then um one smaller one so it'll be between 140 and 150 dollars worth of diamond paintings plus 50 dollars worth of crystals or stones so it'll be uh, a 250 dollar worth for 200 there are going to be one two three four five six seven new diamond paintings offered and i have one of them to show you um make sure that if you haven't already gone on the catcher by radiance facebook page um that you go on there sign up that's where you get all the updates and all the fun new stuff um and that they will be doing a giveaway. Um, yeah, and more to follow. I just want, I'm sorry I'm delaying. I just want to make sure that I get everything for you. So the first thing we're going to go over is part of what these boxes, kind of like a little Pandora's box, and what is going to be offered. So I'm really, really excited. So here is the first one. It comes nicely bubble wrapped. All of this did come in a much larger box. But for time's sake and awkwardness, I already, you know, I took it out. So I'm just going to open this up. It's really packaged well with this bubble wrap and tape. It's very heavy, too. So just give me a second. Bear with me. Oh, my goodness. 
Now, um, also bear with me because I am not huge on what each crystal crystals are or anything like that. Well, here we have, I think it's like a sphere or something, but it's like absolutely beautiful. And hopefully the name of what it is is included. And yeah, this is just really, really nice. Hopefully I'll get something for it to sit on so it doesn't, my cats don't play with it. But if you can tell, it's just marbled with black and there's like browns and gold flecks in here. Really, really pretty. Now here is the box. Oh my God, this box is so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, let me just cut this open real quick. Ooh. All right, so it has a nice Captured by Radiance branded sticker on there with the website down here. Your masterpiece awaits is their slogan. This box is so nice. You guys, check this out. All the detail. And it's got two hinges, really nice quality. And here is a latch where it opens up. So let's see what it is inside. So here's what they were talking about. This is so nice. All right, so assertiveness. And it says this situation can be held gently and with love as you requested, yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with other people involved. You will stand right behind, we will stand right behind you as you speak your truth giving you the strength and guiding your words. Well, that this is really nice. Yep, that's definitely me. So, and then this right here <clears throat> is a letter. This is an example of uh, the Emerald Mystery Box. So, the Tier 2. Let me see. I'm so sorry. Blah, blah, blah. I'm doing it. So, Leap of Faith by Amy Stewart in the rounds. Well, I don't have that one. A surprise box, but craving and okay, Ruby. Okay. Okay, this is going to be the. Uh, I can't even pronounce it. Whatever this sphere name is called, that's what that sphere was that I showed you. Okay. So the ruby, this is like an example of what you will be getting from Debbie um, with the meaning of your crystal. So I'm just going to really read it really, really quick. So the ruby, S-Z-O-I, Zyocyte, the penguin, is known... Oh my God, this is so cute. It is known to offer strength and assistance in accomplishing your dreams. A ruby is the stone of courage, strength, and removes any fears of anxiety that sits with us daily. Green, so I, I can't pronounce this. Energy produces growth and fertility in all aspects of life and helps us rebirth and have a better understanding of ourselves and connection with the outside world. The stone can also help you along your journey of rediscovering yourself. And it helps produce a deeper understanding of what negativity we are carrying and how to conquer it. This stone is also one of the very few minerals that can transmute negative energies into positivity. I need that. Even leaving a piece in your daily environment will drastically benefit everyone. This is so nice. This box is nice too. Oh, and here's their business card. And then right here is the Facebook group and I will link uh, Facebook and Instagram below. All right, the second one is the skull and it's L-A-R-V-I-K-I-T-E. Very, very cool. Um, a stone of inner transformation that helps one better to adapt to change as well as accept and understand any benefits that may come with it. And it just goes on. I don't want to take up too much time reading it, but it lets you know. So I am really digging this. These are so nice. And then last but not least, we have a very nice crown right here. And I believe that it is talks about the sphere right here. So I don't think that the 
Maybe it does sit on top. This does sit on top of the crown, but the crown is super, super cool. So I'm probably actually gonna keep that in here so it doesn't roll away and put these on my dresser and keep this open. So this is one of the examples of what can come in your emerald box. So I'm sorry that was so lengthy, but I really want to make sure that you guys get all of the information and that I do not forget anything. So I'm going to set this aside. All right, so as far as moving on to our diamond painting kit, which one do we have? So, I don't have a leap of faith. I have Phoenix Rising. And I need to look through my notes because I forgot who the um, artist was. I don't think it's Jody Bergsma. It might be. I have to double check, but hopefully it will stay inside. So anyway, this is a round canvas and is a 60 by 95 centimeter. So here's the Captured by Radiance box. It's a basic box right here, but I love this. Just throw the sticker on there. It's all right if the box, you know, is just a regular diamond painting box. It also lets you know everything that is included in your kit. So I know I've kept you waiting long enough. So, and it's taped right here on the edges. Okay, so let's get into it and see what is in our box. Okay, so everything is out of it. It does come in this green organza bag right here. It's a really, really nice bag. We have our soft lint back canvas right here as well. So let me unroll this. These are poured blue. These are also hand charted. Oop, I just bumped you guys. Hand charted. Oh my God, there is so much stuff. Oh. Okay. Let me just, as I'm knocking more stuff over. Here are our pre bag drills. Here is our sticker sheet, and we'll get into that. But first, let's go over the toolkit. So your toolkit also comes in this organza bag. And we'll open it, it's really, really pretty. So what comes in your toolkit? You get a pair of black tweezers. They are sharp, so make sure you keep the plastic on them. You get your standard diamond painting pen. You get a blue squishy. We get a really cool diamond sticker with cats on it. You get a skinny four placer. You get a pot of blue wax, a diamond, Mospa diamond painting tray with spout, some washi tape, a roll of washi tape, and then you get a cover minder. And this one is of clear, it's a clear quartz. So it is a gem stone. So that is really, really cool. Oh my God, this is so cool. And it has your little magnet on the back. So you guys can see it. Look at that. That's really nice. It almost looks like a baby unicorn horn. So let me just put this back in here and we're gonna toss all these goodies back in here. So this is a very, very nice toolkit. It's got everything and a little bit more <clears throat> for you to diamond paint with. It's a lot, that's a really good amount of washi tape too. So Debbie, thank you so much for that. Here is our sticker sheet now. It's branded and it's captured by Radiance. And here is a better picture of our image. This is, it is by Jody Bergson. That's why I didn't write it down. Um, yeah, I didn't, that's why I didn't write it down. Because it was underneath the other one. So, legally licensed. All kits by Captured by Radiant from Captured by Radiance are legally licensed. And what that means is that the artists are properly and fairly compensated, as they should be, for their beautiful artwork. Here is our legend. These are not pre-cut, which is okay. You guys can just cut these if you're not a fan of working out of the baggies. And there are four ABs in this. Each canvas from Captured by Radiance is going to have four ABs, you guys. Here's their socials again, and some tips and tricks on how to diamond paint. And the cool thing about these tips and tricks 
is that um, they can be cut out because this is an entire sticker sheet. So if you want to put that on a specific page in your logbook or something for you to refer back to if you're new and try to get the hang of it, you know, that's really helpful as well. This sticker sheet is really, really great. And then of course you get your sticker for your logbook, um, information, um, all things like that. The size of it. All right, so let's actually get in to see what the canvas looks like, you guys. Oh, and I forgot an important thing. Um, I am now an affiliate with Captured by Radiance. So um, I will be able to link my code down below and no obligation at all, but I really wanted to, you know, let you guys know. Um, I will still be completely um, transparent of my feelings and everything, but I did want to let you know that. So again, Deborah, thank you so much for that as well. So here are our drills. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna look at those in a second, but let's flip over this canvas. Let me get my notebook out of the way too. All right, are you guys ready? Wow. What do you guys think? Now, I know we can't get the whole thing in here, so I'm probably going to have to pan up later. Like, I'll take, I'll just pan through the diamond painting so you guys can see it better. But here it is. This is Phoenix Rising by Jody Bergsma. I know you guys have seen Jody's art and other places as well. It's absolutely beautiful. So, way up at the top, it does say Captured by Radiance. Over here, you've got a thumbnail, and then it says the title again, uh, the artist, and then it's licensed by MGL with the website. We have a legend, 48 colors with four ABs in the upper left, and there is another one down here in the lower right. On the absolute bottom, you've got the socials right here, their slogan, your masterpiece awaits, and then their OSNAP, OSNAP insurance and 100% satisfaction guaranteed. This is really, 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 really pretty. Super pretty. Um, we've got the two phoenixes right here. We've got the moon. Um, we've got the symbol clarity is really, really clear. However, one thing that I'm noticing off the bat is that on the darker areas, it it just has the dark symbols. So I use a light pad, so it probably is not gonna be a big deal for me to see. However, um, if people who don't use a light pad um, might have a hard time, although the symbols are very clear, it's hard to see the dark symbols on top of the dark colors on the background. Um, whereas the lighter colors is absolutely just fine and it looks you know really really great that's the only thing that I can think of as of right now is just if the lettering on the darker areas would be um, in white it would be a lot easier to see but anyway we I'm loving that in the background there is some color blocking we have some checkerboarding over here because there is um, a lot of confetti going on in here um a lot like you might be able to use a four placer and that's it maybe that's why a four placer is included because that's their way of saying um, there's too much confetti but down here there is some color blocking and up here but this is rendered very very nicely um i chose to get this around because of its size and i wanted to um just have another round to to work on um this is really beautiful i'm loving the moon too and it's kind of just got this like smoky look kind of behind it. So let me bring you up to show you the symbol clarity. If there can't, so there won't, hopefully there won't be a glare. But you guys can see that the symbols are very, very, very clear. So let's take a look real quick at our drills. So there is a lot of dark colors, a lot of browns. Um, there is no 310 because the first color that they start off with is 402. So that's very, very interesting to me. I've never had a kit that started that high up on the DMC. So we have all these colors. There's a lot of reds and pinks, some yellows, um, but a lot of browns and burgundies. So let's 
open this up. Oh, I also wanted to show you that there's the kit number right there in case you store them separately. And the DMC codes are on the baggies. So let me just really quickly open up the drill so I can get the ABs so we can take a look at them and show you where they're at. Um, if you're new, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and it just means that there is a super shiny coating over the drills to make them sparkle. I'm going to try not to mess these up too, too much because they are in order. All right, so I've got those out. Put these ones back, and let's get this out of the way for right now. So... We have 5200s, so we have our white AB. These are really, really good quality. I mean, the shine on here already. So just a little bit of white. Then we have AB 3827. It's kind of like orangey, peachy. Then we have a really nice size of AB 976 right here. And this is kind of like an orangey, not quite a terracotta, but um, an orangey brown. And then we have this really pretty yellow AB445 right here. So we have the check mark, which is the 5200. So wherever you see white sprinkled through here, that is where, and then there is some through the tail and then down below at the bottom right here, that is where that white AB is gonna go. So wherever you see white, that's where it's gonna go. The next one, 3827. That symbol is kind of like, it's hard to see what it is. It looks like a little sun. Okay. And bear with me. I'm going to try to see where I can find these because this is a very new symbol. Um, their legends are uh, alphanumeric with, and with symbols. Okay. So there's going to be some ABs. Some ABs up here in the wings, I'm seeing through here. So it's really going to be sprinkled throughout this Phoenix. Um, AB976 is kind of like that swirly at this one right here. This one, I'm sorry. It's that little kind of the at, the at symbol, and that is also sprinkled throughout this Phoenix as well. And then the white is... Um, an arrow pointing to the left. And I'm going to assume that that is also going to be, that's going to be in the moon. There's a, some of that other AB, the um, 9, 976 is also in the moon. The only thing I'm not, and there's a very, a couple of them also in the red Phoenix as well. But the majority of the ABs are going to be in this Phoenix and in the moon. So what do you guys think? I can't wait to see what other sneak peeks look like um make sure you go to the facebook group and sign up to get those notifications because debbie is going to let everybody know where they can find uh what other creators are going to be doing the sneak peeks and it should be really really amazing i just can't wait to see them. there's a lot of great choices you guys and some are much uh, made up more manageable sizes as well for those of you that might not like such a large diamond painting. But I will link this kit below as well as everything else. So what do you guys think? I think this is pretty nice, huh? It's like, it's just really, really, really pretty. Let's check the stickiness real quick before I forget. It does have the thinner plastic over it. Like I said, this is poured glue. Oh, it is very, very, very sticky. If you pull up and your finger's still attached, it is definitely sticky. Well, you guys, that is about it for me. Hold on before I... Uh... <sighs> so, because you guys know I'm not the greatest at that. But before I let you go, let's do a really quick recap. Um, we had this stunning image Phoenix Rising by Jody Bergsma. It is a 60 by 95 centimeter round diamond painting kit with 48 colors and four ABs. But don't forget about the mystery boxes that are now available as well in the three tiers of emerald, sapphire, and diamond. This again is the emerald one. Let me not forget 
our little penguin right here. Um, this box and lined with satin. It's just really, really, really pretty. So yeah, you guys, let me know what you think. Um, and hit me if you have any questions. If you haven't already subscribed, I hope you'll consider subscribing. At least like and share. Let your friends know. And yeah, you guys, that's it. So I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.